I was going to say, if you need an Inferno one from Singapore, let me know. You know <laughs> I, 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 own a, I, I own a percentage Damien of stock. a percentage, that. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jason, welcome. Barely Available's here. All right, let's go live here. Let me, uh... hey, hello. Hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Geek Together. We had a great week off last week. Um, we had a lot of traveling going on. Uh, Robbie was out at FunCon. I had a bunch of stuff going on with family. Um, so we're going to take a break. We did have uh, Benito Calvazo scheduled for last week. Originally, but I spoke with him, and we're going to get him rescheduled soon. I'm looking forward to talking to him uh, as soon as we can get that back on the docket. But tonight... Uh, we're joined by Resin Rookie. But first is your host, Damien, and with me, as always, Christina. Robbie. And Resin Rookie. Welcome again. You're, I think, when was the last time? Was it a year ago? Maybe almost, almost a year ago. Almost right a year before, ago. Maybe. A, yeah, it was maybe like a week or a week. In a week, it'll be about a year, I think. Yeah, about then. Yeah, I remember that. We were talking. Um, we'd just gotten some pieces, and you're, you know, again, we were talking a lot about your casting process. We've. We've learned a lot since then. I have some uh, things to bounce off of you today, uh, if you don't mind. You know, problems <laughs> I'm having. You know, that, I I love having the conversation and the and the blog, and maybe people watch it. I don't know, um, but if anything, it's <laughs> I get to learn a lot through the whole process. Oh, Nerdy Curious is here. Gary's here. Manny's here, and Jason Rowe. You know, barely. Uh, by the way, uh, Jason, congrats on your sellout too at the uh, the Clutter show. You saw your three pieces were mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. before i had a chance so you know i may have had a chance in 30 minutes in the timeout but you know oh well that's why priscilla arts here welcome everybody all right so yeah it's been a year since we've got and you had a lot of stuff going on but um first before we get into interviewing and everything i want to talk about new stuff we had this week i guess it's two weeks that we'll show we'll end with you uh, uh but we'll start with christina Robbie has nothing because he's at Robbie's on vacation at a lake house uh, yep. and uh, living the dream. I think <laughs> no fishing though. I think catching no fi fish, no fishing. All right. So Christina, <laughs> um, well, we got in the new series of tiny ghost minis, which nice. Damien put the cutest uh, unboxing video on our Instagram. Uh, yeah. Peyton. If anybody wants to see an, un an, uh, an unboxing of what we have, our daughter Peyton, who loves tiny ghosts, she insisted. She watches nothing but YouTube and <laughs> wants to do uh, unboxings and videos and stuff. Insisted on uh, on doing the unboxing uh, herself, and so I just recorded it. But it really came out really cute. She was really good at it, actually. Oh my god, why? Why? <laughs> we did get a rare. We did get the rare. <laughs> um, which means we are. In the market for a big heart ghost because that's Peyton's <laughs> favorite, and we did not get it. Yeah. Yep. Just a little bit sad, but yeah, these there's the all the different ones that you can see through now because you know they're ghosts. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this and if you notice, Christina has upgraded her equipment to a pink headset with uh, ears on them. I just want to point that out. See through yeah. ears. See through ears. ears. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Peyton took, or sorry, Damien took my other headset, and so I stole Peyton's. <laughs> That's right. All right, so I'll, I'll go next. <laughs> that would be Peyton protest. All right, so Robbie showed this originally. I'm actually going to show a bigger screen here. So Robbie had one of these mm -hmm. that he showed on the show. It's actually the exact same color. It's the exact same one. So this is a, it's from Benito Calabazo. Um, toys. He's about a Columbia. Robbie had one of these and he showed it. I have a little bit of more of a story to this one. It's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, I reached out to him immediately after the show to see if I can get one. And of course, he had already sold out, but he said he was going to make another release. Well, then I didn't get in on that run. So I saw our friend Don Ward, who, you know, Cracker Man, who was on the show. He kicked off our interview series actually this year, right in, way back in May. And he reached out too once he saw Robbie had it. Uh, might have been the same show. I'm not sure. But no, he was on the show with Reese. That's right. Yep. And 
anyway, Donald bought a few apparently, and then lo and behold, I get a package in the mail today or yesterday. And guess what? A nice gift from Donald. It, you know, so complete surprise. What an awesome guy. I love it. It's the kind of a, you know, the, the way that the resin's done with the fire, mm-hmm. the skull face inside there. And then it's kind of got a, like a back view of it too. Like a, yeah. So like a second sh- face. Hard to show. Yeah. It's like a second face on the backside. It's really cool. Anyway, very surprised. Love it. It's going to be, I got to, I thought my, my daughter's already told me I got to add it to the blue shelf back there. <laughs> Yeah, it's because they fit right in. Yep. They're right. I need to get some risers because they're getting crowded. The red shelf's very overwhelming right now. <laughs> but all right, that's what I got. All right. And up to you, Mr. Rookie. Yeah, R- Rob- <laughs> Robbie doesn't even have a thing on the wall. So. No, Robbie's at a, at a <laughs> rental house. Nope. And uh, where, you, where lake are you at? Bear Lake? Bear Lake, yep. Bear Lake up in Utah. There you go, yeah. Yep. So my first pickup is this. Here we go. Oh that's, cool. oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's really cool because he, his, I like the design because it looks like he's running. Because yeah. You set yeah. Oh, yeah. Ground, his feet, his feet are off the ground. Like, there's that's the cool. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. I like how, and then you can see there's like a flat spot there with the three, like very well designed there. Yeah. Who, who made this one? So this is NECA, and it's in their oh, two yep. terror line. They basically mm-hmm. look like um, a Scooby-Doo version. Yeah, so I was going to say, yeah. it looks like Scooby-Doo, yeah. Yeah, so they make a, a lot of these cool cool uh, horror movie characters that are, that are really fun. And then, fresh out of the mailbox. Nice. Oh, it's the two-petal nice. rose. Ani, Ani bot, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, one of the AP ones, or is that? Uh, uh, this is uh, part of the Kickstarter. Um, okay. Yeah, this is. I've never gotten a piece of his, and I really like his work. And yeah, they're um, cool. They're cool. And I, this is this will probably be the only thing that I ever own of Two Petal Rose. So. Well, it's hard to buy his stuff. I mean, every time yeah. it, I mean, it sells out so fast. I um, got this one. Little rope that goes around the chin. Oh, that's crazy! I, sh- I should have that's something nice to detail. show next week from him. Oh yeah, yeah. Like hopefully it'll arrive. Those are my two things. Well, they're very good week. things. That's awesome. I actually, I've been, uh, I, you know, I was on the Kickstarter for the Canbot minis and everything like that, and so it's just so. I mean, it's just a good example of how everything's so backed up out there on the manufacturing side on vinyl and everything. Uh, yeah, I've just been patiently waiting. They send updates every month or so, every couple months. I don't know. Have, have you got anything from that yet, Damien? I have not because what, every time that something's been released that I did an add on the Kickstarter, you have the option of they hold it and they'll ship it all together, or you can get each piece individually and you just got to pay a separate shipping item, right? Because yeah, they they sent me a shipping invoice for I think the glow in the dark one. Yeah, so you had to what you had to do is email them on what you preferred, I think, early on. And if you oh, didn't, okay. then they assume you want it. And so what I've done is I just emailed them and said, Hey, just keep it all until you get it all. It's fine. I'm I'm in no rush. I don't you know, I don't wanna you know, cause you know, my luck will end. I just did the math. Mm-hmm. I ordered so many things from that Kickstarter. I'm like, <laughs> they're gonna get like twenty things in and I'm gonna pay another fifty percent that I pay on the Kickstarter and shipping <laughs> over the time. You know, I was like, you know, I'd rather just get it. I already paid shipping for the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know, if you look, I think I did. I don't know, but because I got like, I don't know, two. I got like the two case pack with a ton of add-ons. Um, I was very excited on them at the time. I have to go back and look at it again and see what I ordered. I didn't get the two pellet rose case. Now I'm looking at it. It's a mistake. I regret a little bit. Um, but I did get a lot of them. Um, some of the giant ones too. So it'll be cool when I get them. Although I don't know where I'll put them. Honestly, like I have like this toy display going on. And then, like, a warehouse over here on this side of the boxes. <laughs> and then I got, like, dahlias coming out there everywhere, like, out in the, in the, di- in the where we're casting stuff. It's just, it's like, we have a uh, one run going live, like, probably next, well, what's the date it's going live, Christian? Do you know? It's this month, though. It's in August. It's with Beehive. We know that. They're going to they're gonna announce it. They're, they're, the product's on its way. It should be there Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. So I'll have all of them there Tuesday. Anyway, and I got another one for Smile World. 
um, going on right now for SmyCon, which is in 10 days, which we're, we'll talk about because I know you have something in the show. Anyway, it's just, so I, don't know, do? I don't know. I'm, I might have to get like a bookshelf for Canada. I'm, I'm also currently working on something for New York Comic Con. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's get back to what we're here for. Sorry. Um, so, it's been a year. A lot has happened since uh, since a year for you. <laughs> you have quite a few things. I was going through your uh, your Instagram today, and let's talk about the most recent release, which was today. Now we're going to show it in true kind of Rob. I'm going to I'm going to show. I'm going to share it right now because it's easier to kind of share these these files this way i think let's see, here we go i'm just, sure. just going to share your instagram and i'm not you everybody see that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this is what you had today um at the what was the name of the show the clutter show uh rainbow, rainbow sparkle sparkles. planet rainbow sparkles was the exhibit now anybody here sees this too late they're gone <laughs> you have Truth no chance of getting, you have no you have, you have no chance of getting these so typical like what robbie would, would show um <laughs> When did you start working on these for this show? So they contacted her, uh, started sending out the emails a couple of months ago, I think. Okay. But I knew, like, I like after the last show, I contacted Miranda and was like, hey, can I get in on that? So I'd been working on it in advance, but I just ah, had okay. color assignment. So it's been a couple of months. So, and I think you they had to have them by August third or something like that okay so they've had it for a while so you just mentioned something i didn't know how it was done they assigned everybody a color well apparently they assigned some people colors and then some people asked for a color if you were <laughs> <laughs> so you were assigned yeah. yellow is what i'm hearing yeah i didn't they they assigned me yellow and i was like yellow <laughs> And then, then I was like, okay, I'll take yellow. I'll never make probably anything yellow again in my entire life. So let's do it once. So, yeah. so I made those, <laughs> made them sparkle. They glow. Yep. I like them actually. I, I wasn't, I wasn't too hot on the idea of. Uh, Look at that glow there. That the is glow is amazing. Thank you. Wow. I wasn't too uh, keen on the whole yellow idea to begin with, but um, I think they turned out pretty good. They're supposed to be kind of like peeps. Is that there? Yeah. Okay. It reminds me of peeps. Like literally. Yeah. That's, yep. that's kind of what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, but you can see the sparkle in it. It's really cool. I love the, I love the kind of the bitten off ear. I mean, we, I, I, think I have one of these here. I think it's on one of my, not the yellow shelf because it's your first yellow piece, but you know. Um, I think you have an orange one. There you go. Yeah, I think I have an orange one. Yeah, an older Maybe. one. Oh no, 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 no! I have, it's like a creamsicle. That's what I. No, have. that's a creamsicle. Yeah. Creamsicle. We have too many things. It's hard <laughs> to remember all of them. <laughs> but I could tell anybody who's watching, like, if you ever get anything done by Resin Rookie, it, the resin is top notch. Like, yeah. it's very clean. Um, and I and you know, as somebody you know who's doing resin now, like. When I look at your like I look at your pieces and how they come out, especially since a lot of your stuff is the resin speaks for itself. You're not painting on it, you're not covering it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you may be sealing it and stuff like that, but the resin has to stand on its own. And it is super crisp. I mean, really, really well done. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> like I wonder, like, like I'm bagging all these up. Hopefully people like them, you know. Well, I don't know how many resin pieces you buy, but I buy a lot. <laughs> and, and your yours is on the top quality, just yeah, definitely. I'm not just saying that because you're here. I'd say you know, just you know. So let's talk about your next. So you have another show coming up soon, right? Yeah. So let me turn this. Let me go to this view here. It's <laughs> weird. There we go. That's cool. And you like the glitter in that one for the Smy World show that you spoke about this glows the white the white pieces glow. oh nice and um so yeah there there's gonna be 10 of these and uh what is it eight eight o'clock sunday the 22nd mm -hmm. is that what we're dealing with yeah eight o'clock p.m i think it's eastern time right so your time so that'll be seven o'clock my time mm -hmm. uh in smile world for those that haven't bought from smicon before it's a whole different type of tricky. Like we were talking a little bit before the show about the clutter magazine shop, the gallery, 
website, but this one, what he like what he does is he'll put things up. It doesn't show up right away because I don't know how he's loading it, but he does it. But he'll post it in like a um, like a leet speak kind of tech, like the way he writes the words out. Like deathly cute would have been like D three at plus sign. So if you read it on the site, you'll find it. But he's trying to fight bots from finding things <laughs> and buying them, right? But the downside of that is humans don't read that either. <laughs> I would have anything from this website. <laughs> so, so I had a lot of people that were trying to buy like our last release. Like it wasn't there, and then it was there. I couldn't search for it. You know, you could you can't search Resin Rookie. You have to search like R three dollar sign one. Maybe. Some like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, so those that want to target this, you, keep you that wanna, in mind. Yeah, you want to keep refreshing and, and look for what what it is that you want. Um, the nice thing is things will stay a little bit longer because of that, because you can't just <laughs> bought them. Um, but uh, yeah, just be patient and keep looking. There you go. Super cool. Jack's got it. He's got his bot loaded up right there. Residency. That's what I was spelling. And so, um, anyway, anyway, just keep that in mind if you're going for it. But I think I love the glitter in that one. I like the multicolor thing. Yeah. So, it's, um, yeah, it's uh, um, it shows up if you put it in different things, like different colors. It shows up differently. It's pretty crazy because it's uh, it's a uh, glitter from uh, solar color dust, and I put uh, it okay. in a lot of things, and it looks different in a lot of in different things. So, and then if you gloss it. It looks even different. It's crazy. Well, I think that's a, uh, you know, not that I don't love the yellow, mm -hmm. but I think I prefer this one, actually. The black <laughs> with the multicolor glitter in it. What about this one? Oh, what's that one for? So Shame. this is for the, um, sorry, I don't cam. I don't the know. The camera is horrible. I know. Trust me. I have the same problem. <laughs> I'm always doing that where I'm like left, right. Hold on. Yeah. So these are for the resonation uh, boxes that they, these go on sale September 4th. More information on the post on my Instagram. You could probably pull that up. But um, yeah, that if you pull up the Instagram, there's a black and white image of uh, the resonation logo. And uh, so for this, the last one was. Uh, Right here, five, no, six artists or five artists, something like that. And then we've added two more, barely one of your favorites. Oh, yeah, and, one of my favorites. Um, um, another favorite, Berserker Black Market. Oh, nice, nice. Francisco. And um, so we've added also two colors, black and white. Black, nice. I, I got black. I've been wanting to do a black and white peep for a while, so I got lucky on that one. And then red is the chase. So everybody does a red. Uh, yeah. oh, Jason nice. was talking about this, actually. Yeah, Jason was oh, on the show. Okay. Yeah. So, so everybody's chase piece is red, right? Yeah. Is that okay? So those, nice. that will be available on the fourth. And details should be in that paragraph somewhere. There you go. Resonation 2021 releases Saturday, September 4th. LE 14 cases, eight pieces per case. One from each artist and one red chase. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. It was fun the first time. It was fun the second time. Um, it's a really cool little project that they put together. Yeah, it seems yeah. cool. It's, it's funny. I look at the list here. Hold on. Let's see here. Yeah, beans in it. Bean? Turtles in it. Um uh, Berserker Black Market, Surge, the Turtle, uh, TNT Plastic, me, Very nice. and uh, well, the only two people we haven't had on the show is here is official Surge, Surge and, and Destroy, Surge, Surge and Destroy, and TNT Plastic. Yeah, yeah, yep. everybody so else we've had. Bean does great work. She has a release tomorrow, actually, of uh, Custom Sune. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So yeah, those are my two pieces for those. And then um, I'm thinking about doing another um, another countdown, slowly counting down to Halloween. You were wrong. It was today. Awesome. They're sold was it out. Today? They're sold out. Yeah. <laughs> sold out Wait, in three minutes. That, that being the, the custom Sunes. Well, that's oh, about right. That's about right. That's how I'm getting though. You know, like 
That's why I don't have anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was today. They sold out in three minutes, apparently. Well, well cool. sorry, everybody. I hope you weren't here for your Sune drop news. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You'll be on the fail boat with me. Oh, wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to hijack your, your sentence. Oh, it's cool. Your whole room is like shifting there, Christina. You're turning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have to ask you a technique question, if you don't mind. Let's have it. So on the on the uh, glitter that you're doing there, mm -hmm. um, is it just ultra fine glitter you mix into the resin, or is there a trick to getting it to be all distributed Consistent. like that? So I use uh, the the resin that. Right now, since there's a, a, a resin crisis mm -hmm. amongst us, um, I use this new resin that it's got like a pot life of two and a half minutes. Oh. And um, and then, yes, if you use this, like I think this is finer than some glitter. Right. And definitely finer than glow powder. So I use the super quick setting resin, mix it thoroughly, and then the uh, the finer glitter doesn't sink to the bottom. Gotcha. And that's, and that's how these two yep. ended up pretty thorough. Because that's a that's an issue that I had the first time that I put glitter in something. It all sank to the bottom of a Mister Wiggles, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This is not supposed to be like this." <laughs> and, uh, and it was all at the bottom. And then like yep. sometimes like it like. It hung like it hung in the eyes, you know, like so it'll it get like, stuck on a ridge or something. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that was a learning experience, and I had to call call a lifeline in, and the the guy probably thought I was dumb or something, and was like, "You need to use a finer glitter, you know, and yeah. then a quicker setting resin," because I was using like three twenty, three twenty six, and it'll all sync with three twenty six. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So 325 or an, a, a similar quick setting resin and then finer glitter. Hmm. Yeah, the quick setting like resin that. might be it might be a good trick. Although it's like I find myself with a pot life of two and a half minutes of the mixing, pouring, and then assembling and getting under pressure is uh our our like, problem is the multiple molds. You'll you if it's that quick of a setting resin though, you could do them in separate pours. The, the problem is when yeah. you try to pour the head and then the arms and then the body, and then you try to get them all into the pressure pot. Mm -hmm. Like by the time you're pouring in the, the biggest one or whatever, you're it's like setting in your cup. Yeah. As a matter of <laughs> fact, if, any, if anybody wants a resin waterfall out of a cup, let me know. I can, I can do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were to do like the body and the arms and legs or whatever, and then uh, that's true. The that's head true. separately. And if it's done in, if you can take it out of the, the pressure pot in 10 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever, then it doesn't really matter that much. That's true. That'll work. Yeah. We had, we had the same problem with the glitter where we would, uh, you know, depending on which way you had the, in the pressure pot, it would all just gravity would take its course. And so we had a lot of, uh, we would go to the top of the head of the Dahlia because the way that it's cast upside down. And, um, and so we would just call it like, you know, brain explosion or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just gonna get, you just gotta get creative with that kind of stuff. The other thing we've yeah. had happen is with the um, with the what do you call them, the mica powders and stuff. They end up having like interesting, like weird swirl patterns because of I think because of it being under pressure. Mm. Like it doesn't. I bought, I bought a lot of mica powder and I never used them because I made it started making everything glow. Yeah, right. What well, glows where is that? Maybe I should maybe I should use the mica powders. They're they're cool. Like they're like the like metallic. They're not really glitter because it'll yeah. take it'll. They're not really transparent or I don't know. It's neat. They give they you some cool, cool effects. I see a lot of people doing doing stuff with them and they look really nice. And then I see it and I'm like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, that's probably that mica powder you never used. Because I bought <laughs> tons of it. I bought tons of it whenever I first started. And then I just never used it. Maybe I should do that. There you go. All right, Inspi anyway. in inspiring <laughs> yeah. more more artists. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So, how's uh, how did you feel the the release went today on on everything with clutter? It went good. Um, like we were talking about earlier, I always get nervous whenever the site messes up. 
you know, because mm-hmm. hopefully people will stick around and like wait it out, you know. Well, there were a lot so, of artists in the show, right? So many, I mean, went, like right, like thirty minutes before this, the Miranda went through, and generally she will go through and like call out each person, each person's piece. But there were so many, I was like, "There's no way she's going to be able to do that." So she just kind of, I guess, went through and like spotted and called out certain names. But there were so many. I think she said there were like 300 pieces. There was wow. a, well, not only that, not only are 300 pieces. There were. I mean, I'm looking at the list of artists right now for the site. So I mean, I'm not going to count them all up, but it's like got to be over a hundred, maybe a hundred yeah. artists. Yeah. It was a lot. That's a lot of artists. I mean, so I can imagine that when everything went live on the preview, that the site just kind of clogged up right away because everybody's, you know, every artist has their own following, right? I mean, I'm sure you had people that were like, "What? hey, I'm trying to get your piece. What's going on here? Talking to you. Yeah. And then yeah. same with everybody else, right? Like same with everybody else trying to get stuff from their fans. And like Robbie, I'm sure, was trying to buy the banana dong here. <laughs> Maybe the cheeseburger <laughs> one. <laughs> No, definitely the donk. <laughs> definitely the donk. <laughs> and once that was gone, then I went for Jason's. <laughs> no, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, the point is, they uh, I'm sure it was like a big bottleneck at first, and then as things sold out, it kind of died down, and yeah. you're able to get to things again. Yeah. But they do a weird thing, and I know... Uh, not a weird thing. I think it's kind of a cool thing. I mean, as art collectors themselves and trying to combat cart jacking and sellouts and stuff like that, the one interesting thing about the clutter website is if you add something to your cart, it's yours. If you make it to your yeah. cart, it's taken out of stock. Yeah. I like that because it, it takes off the pressure. Like you get it in your cart, you can, you can breathe, you can unclench mm-hmm. and, 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 and and just relax and enjoy the experience of buying something, you know? Like, it also allows of- you to look around at a few other things yeah. before you feel like you have to rush and check out. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Clinch club. <laughs> club emo. <laughs> so I, I put a link to the uh, to the gallery now. <laughs> uh, look, you're not going to find anything Resident Rookie. They're long gone. But there are a ton of pieces left I was perusing. And the front page... Uh, It'll be all the stuff Robbie's that you is interested in. Maybe I'll maybe I'll banana get one for you. Dong. The banana, there's a cheeseburger dong and a hot dog dong. A cheeseburger dong? Dude, you gotta look at it. I said post the link. Check it out. Go shopping. You're gonna love it. <laughs> it's right right for your show. Ooh, yeah. But yeah, they uh there's a lot of stuff sold out. Again, everything from uh Reser Rookie's gone, but it looks like you have a couple other chances. So you have Smile World on Sunday. I just want to reiterate it over and over again. So Smile World, again, go to Smile World. So the toy culture toy culture section is usually where everything is there. Um, and my advice to everybody there is just go there and sort by newly added, and then you'll see things that are there for the show. Uh, and that's the best way to find uh, the pieces you're looking for. <laughs> Emo, oh my, can't go wrong. Yeah, exactly, see? Um. And then the next show you have is the Resignation Show, which we talked about a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Robbie found him. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Let me find the Resignation post again. I want to make sure I have that up again. Yeah, here we go. So, again, you're looking at September 4th. So, just ask, just so I'm fully clear on this, you have four, there's 14 cases. You're buying a case. So, you're getting one of each piece. You're getting one piece from each artist in there. Yes. So you're buying so, like a cool kit of one. So I'm going to get, if I buy this, I'm going to get eight pieces, eight pieces, but from each artist, whatever they're making for the show. Yes. So from one of us, one, one person will get, so you'll get them all and then you'll get one red chase. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Cause there's seven people in the show. So I'm going to get one of all and one, and then an eighth piece, which is going to be the chase. Yeah. From one of nice. Yeah. That's cool though. Yeah, it's a really good idea. I didn't come up with it, but <laughs> so it means in total you made in total you made fifteen pieces. Fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen. All oh, so right, because it's double it's going twice, right? Okay. So okay, yeah, gotcha. So, so you have two chases. Fourteen of these. And two chases. The rest pretty cool. 
All right, so then two lucky people will get your chase out of all the 14 cases, and two lucky people are going to get the barely chase and the bean chase. Got it. Okay, now it makes sense. Or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. Well, Fair it's, enough. It's, it's a I think you're lucky anyway. You're, you're guaranteed a chase. I mean, I don't think that's a problem. Yeah. Like, anyway, you're getting a chase. You're getting a you're getting an LE2 item. Yeah. Either way, from one of these artists. And I don't, I mean, I've, I mean I'm not familiar with every single one of them, but most of them. And that's all pretty good work there. I wouldn't be sad. Nope. Yeah. I wouldn't be sad either. First one turned out really good. Like, getting five artists on the, five, five artists on the same page to do something like that. That's pretty that's neat. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That's really cool. Yeah, maybe that's the way I think like we gotta get Arctic Fox. I see Art I'm saying this because I see it was liked by Arctic Fox right there, the first one. Like we gotta get her to do it. That way I can actually get a freaking sparkling again in my life. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen those those uh the, the the new ones that she's coming out with? Yeah, oh yeah, have I seen them? Yeah. The ones with Christopher Luke, yeah, the collabs. They're amazing. They're amazing looking and they're lottery only. So yeah, we entered the lottery. But we have a saying on this show, L is for lottery. So we will take that L <laughs> and we'll watch somebody else get it. And the problem with these pieces like yours too, like if I wanted to like, it's not like other mass produced toys. I can't go and buy them aftermarket. People aren't. There's, there's people 10. Are, there's well, there's just 10. 10. They're going to fan. They are going to fan. And they're going to go to fan. Yeah. It, the, generally the people that are buying them right now are people that really want them. It's They're not going to be a. They're not going to show up on eBay. eBay. Nope. Not right, they're not going to show up on eBay. We got to create like the uh, stock X of designer toys or something, you know, like <laughs> safe, anonymous place so we can get toys that we want. Like, yeah, they're not going to show up on eBay. Like, we're not going to see the, you know, an LE10, uh, your your piece on, on eBay anywhere. It's going to end up, you know, somebody who bought it wanted it. And your prices, again, were very reasonable for the pieces that you're doing, too. I mean, that's the other thing. And so it makes it easy to sell out. Um, I think they raised the price on this one quite a bit from the normal releases that she usually does. Well, they're also twice yeah. the size. They're at least twice the size. They're, they're 140. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 140. Well, the normal sparkling is like an inch, an inch and a half. So this one's yeah, three, three, three inches. Small. I don't have one handy right the second. So but this, yeah, are, this is going to be about three inches Yeah, tall. So bigger all the way around. Plus it has the, the, the skull face, which is, you know. Which he's known for. Yeah. This stuff's hard to get too. It can be. I have I have a can bot of his, a little guy, little can. Mm -hmm. Oh nice. It was pretty awesome. Or it is pretty awesome. I didn't get rid of it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just proved us wrong. He just proved us wrong. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Like that you would think it was made by a factory. Like because the yeah. I don't know if it's details or hand or like decals or hand painted or what, but it's it looks like it was made by a factory. Yeah, nice. I'm pretty sure he does all of his stuff hand painted. Um, I have a, one of his prints, but I haven't gotten a figure just yet. Any of the figures that I probably could have, they weren't necessarily my favorite base figures. So I haven't pulled the trigger just yet. But there's been right. several. There's been several that I I would like. The one I got was the janky uh, with the can. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. That's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, yeah. it was really cool. Was yeah, really I missed cool. that piece actually. I try, I try. I, well, I like to say that I tried. I was on my game. I mean, a lot of these pieces I missed it lately. Like I'm just bad at it. I'm not there. Like clearly, I, the Sune. I had no. I did not deserve that item. I didn't want it bad enough, and I wasn't there. So good for the people that were in line. Um, actually, actually, speaking of him, he had uh, one of his custom pieces get turned into a production piece. The Chris. Uh, the yeah, what's it called? To Kobe, right? Puck. Chris to Kobe and Puck. Yeah, yeah, the Puck. He he did a custom one of those, and they uh they did a run of it for Decon London. So they're coming out in a couple weeks, I think. There's a Puck that he did. Like, I saw yeah. it, but I didn't yeah. thought it was like a custom. He did, the original one was a custom. They just they just announced that they did a um, a production run of it. I think it's fifty or hundred. I don't remember exactly how many, but well, it's awesome. obtainable. I mean, if you're going to Decon London. Well, right, true. There's that. <laughs> um, it's also with strange cat toys. Um, 100 pieces. Yeah, that's doable. Oh, they all sell out, those pucks. They sell out pretty fast, too. Yeah. They're it's on his cool Instagram figures. if you wanted to see it. But yeah. yeah, Again, you can't see it because of the stupid green screen. But <laughs> well, well. Now, what's going on? You got like. Like yeah, no, this, okay. 
this is uh, my computer is set up in our in our bedroom, and our daughter is like on the bed watching YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we we are I, a professional have, shop I, here. I have a, saying, uh, here, I'll just <laughs> push the green screen up just a little. There we go. So yeah, you see the corners of my room. Yeah. <laughs> what, it is, what it is is it's a uh, I got it for work um, a while ago when I cared about that stuff and it slides it's like a big circle green screen that slides to the back of an office chair so it's uh, pretty cool except for when you have a high def camera that you're not zooming in enough on that's kind of <laughs> get to, which is why I don't use it yeah it's for, for just so you know it's like um, when you do uh, on live streams uh, or you make resin toys or collectible shows uh, you don't you're not rich <laughs> and so we don't have the gate together studios just yet you know so nope. robbie's the closest one to it he has to go to a house in the bear lake and take us guest room there you go <laughs> so and then everybody we might get anywhere we just throw it right out the window at toys anyway so <laughs> that's what goes so that said with the um Going back, going back to discussing kind of the resin work. What what are the you know? I was talking about people that I compare you, that I compare you to. What out? Who out there are you work with? I mean, I'm, I'm seeing this list on resonation that you kind of look to as uh, that you admire their work. Um, it always pushes you to better yourself. So Carlos, obviously, Fifth Turtle. Um. Just everybody, everybody that we kind of like came up with at the same time, everybody that's on that resonation list. Um, I would say that that's probably the people that I, uh, yeah, barely Carlos TNG plastic, everybody that's on that list of the resonation that, that's a part of that. It's, I don't know how he cobbled that list together, but it's, I don't know if they did it on purpose to get those people, mm -hmm. but it's almost like that was like a class of people that came up at the same time, like the class of 2018 that <laughs> kind of like came up and started doing this all at the same time. That's what it kind of reminds me of, you know, because mm -hmm. me and Carlos started like fifth turtle started within like the same week. Like we, we oh, came yeah. out with prototypes and we didn't really, we knew each other from a TMNT um, group on Facebook, but it was just like, I've seen his work on the group. Like, and then I started following him on Instagram and then it was just like following from afar. And then we, when he dropped that prototype of the, 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 the dead dreamer, I was like, Oh, you're making toys. I'm making toys. Let's be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And so, um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, and, and I think around the same time TN, TNT plastic came out, um, and it just, all of those guys, everybody like, um, so craftsman, um, there's a guy named Ma uh, Mike effects that's doing the printing for a, a collaboration that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. He was a really big influence. He doesn't really do, uh, toys so much. He does do it, but he does a lot of ceramic work um if you google or if you uh, in, uh search them on instagram like uh, uh some producer of uh hip-hop music videos comes up that's not him <laughs> the, the, the artist mike effects that's him um he um he he's a big influence because he answered a lot of questions because i tried not to bother a lot of people whenever i started making toys because i didn't want to be that guy but so I did ask questions whenever, you know, whenever I stuck a prototype in a pressure pot and it popped, blew up. Uh, mm. I was like, why did this happen? And he told me and I was like, oh, I do need to get a vacuum chamber. So like little things like that, I didn't I didn't really try to bother people with like a lot of stuff. So he was he was he saved me about two hundred dollars on that on that purchase. But um, yeah. yeah, just everybody. everybody. The, the pressure pot itself, the pop, the top popped off or yeah, inside. So the um, when you stick a hollow thing into a pressure pot. Yep. So the prototype is hollow if you 3D mm -hmm. print it. So you stick mm -hmm. it in there, it's going to treat it as a bubble. So yep. uh, the pressure pot doesn't get rid of bubbles. It just shrinks them down to where you can't see them. So when you stick a prototype into a pressure pot for making so a mold big bubble 
and it's going to crush it. Yep. Yeah, we may or may not have learned that tiny. too. The hard way. Oh yeah, yeah, that? we did that. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> a dolly ahead seems like a good piece to learn something like. That. How did you yeah. know it was a dolly ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's big and it's probably hollow. What is it yep. like? Yeah. Is yeah. it is a dolly ahead almost as big as this? That's about, close, yeah. it's about, yeah. it's about this size right here. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, that one's really hollow. Yep, it's real, it. real, real see-through. <laughs> yeah, so there, that's basically a bubble, and whenever you stick it in there, it's going to crush it because yep, it's, it's it sure oh, here's a bubble. I'm going to try to collapse it. Yep. So yep. I, I definitely have I gotcha. definitely have one with a nice big crack across the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the original question? <laughs> oh, I think we got I think we got there, but don't worry. That's that's exactly what we're after. Uh, so, you know, we're going to talk about your influencers that keep you there. I mean, and then, and, and same thing. I, I agree with you 100%. Like, we're we're newcomers to resin making, right? Like, we did the 3D print. We have the resin pieces we took on, learning how to cast resin, working with resins, and learning what we have to do. Like, it's a little different. We have four molds. Dolly has intricate pieces with the body and the arms and everything like that with four different molds. So a two-and-a-half-minute set timer, I realized I couldn't pour the whole thing at once, so I had to start doing it in batches. And then we made multiple molds, so we can that's the only way we can increase production. And if I did multiple molds of the same thing, then I just stick them in the pressure pot, and I can just pour them right in there, put the lid on, and go. So you try to find the timing of it. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, uh, or longer, or you get longer pot life resins, right? But that brings its yeah. own challenges if you want to do certain things with it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, the same thing. The community has been great. Like, I have I have long text threads with Jason Rowe. Uh, about that, I, you know, Bean has been instrumental in helping us figure out. That's who's pointed out the, uh, well, yeah, dummy, you don't put a 3D print in a pressure pot. You gotta, I use a vacuum chamber to get the uh, silicone um, to not have bubbles. Uh, and that's how you cast it. Or I could pour a resin piece from a good mold, and I could probably put that in the pressure pot if it's solid. Yeah, I could yeah. do that, right? If I didn't want to get a vacuum chamber, so those were my options, right? And so you there, oh shit, obviously, we've had it too, where we pulled things out trying to rush things. And we, it's when you learn the kind of the physics of the pressure pot. It doesn't eliminate any bubble. It doesn't degas it. Yeah. It just they, makes them really small. So you have to have an overpour almost to have the yeah. – if, if you get too much air when you're mixing it, it'll take a lot away from the volume that's inside the mold. That's right, yeah. yeah. And we, so – We were also doing double casts for, for one thing, and then I had taken the, the arm pieces out because they were just taking up space in the in – the, in the pressure pot and I figured, Hey, well, you know, it's already mostly cured. We can just leave them out. Right. And then by morning, the bubbles had like reformed <laughs> and were like popping out. That's out of the, the pore spot. I was like, wow, well, those are kind of no good anymore. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard that happening, but I've never had it. And I'm, I'm pretty impatient. Like I like to, like once I get in the groove, I like to like, just take it out. Like, right. Like, right. Just, it's, if it's 10 minutes, take it out like right at 10 minutes. Right. And sometimes before, like with this new resin, um, getting used to it and realizing that, hey, it's got a, it says 14 minutes to cure. But if you want it to cure to where you can still work with it and cut the poor spout off and not have to, you know, do like something crazy to it with like a jackhammer or something, then you take it out at around nine minutes. That way you can still cut the poor spout off and not have, um, you know, uh, too difficult of a time with it. So, mm, gotcha. um, but yeah, I've never had that. I've heard, I've heard of it, but I've never had it happen. And I'm pretty impatient. Well, that's because we were working with a much longer it, cure time. Yeah. It was, a, it was yeah. one that had a, like a 24 hour for a full, full cure. So oh, 24 hours. Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> I was on Suzon's website um, uh, trying to find, like, looking at the specs for their water clear um, mm -hmm. uh, resin. They've got one on there that's seven days. Are you kidding me? Seven days? Yeah. <laughs> seven holy. That's for like, well, Damien that, accidentally bought one that was 72 hours. And that was like. <laughs> and it was a legit 72 hours. Excruciating waiting for that to. Now, the nice thing about. Nice seven thing days, seven. though. Seven days, holy shit. Seven days. <laughs> you make four pieces in a month. You know what you want. You can make kids and have them graduate college by the time you take 
Things are so rare, but the bubbles take care of themselves in a 72 hour cure process. Yeah. That's what we learned. That's what it was meant for. We put, it was a deep pour tabletop resin, right? So yeah, it's not meant to go under. Yeah, I haven't. No, I, I didn't mean to, but now I got some. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll make a table. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a piece of wood and then throw resin over it. It's going to sit in a shelf for a very long time. Oh, look, Smile World's here. Jonathan's here. So he says, what's the advantage with longer cure times? Well, it sounds like... You, 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 you. Less bubbles, potentially. <laughs> so I, I typically uh, tell people that if you want glitter or glow, short cure time. If you if it doesn't matter, and you know, or if you're in a rush, short cure time. If you... Um, if time is not... If time does not matter to you, and you're like casting blanks or like a solid color then go for like a 26 or a 27. So right. Three, three right. 26, 27. But if you're messing with glow, glitter, or you want to make stuff fast, you got to go with 325. Yep. And then you just have to make sure you like spread people, it out. When people ask, you know, send me messages asking me like what, what resin and why, and that's what I tell them. Gotcha. And that's the, uh, now is that, is the 325, is that, is that clear resin? It's a color match resin. It's mm -hmm. it's clear. It's a little yellow. It's yeah, yeah. It's like a little. So you're not going to get it crystal clear. No, that's what they make that water clear stuff for. Yep. Aluminite makes a water clear. That's what I use as an aluminite one. That's water clear. That's a uh, twenty four hour. It's a twelve hour cure with a twenty four hours. Total cure. Yeah, it has a like a 40, hour, 40 minute, isn't it? No, 40, minute, like 40, 40 minute, minute pot yeah. life. Yeah, 40 minute pot life. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's not great are, for glitter. It is not great for it's glitter. It's not good for glitter, but it's crystal clear. Yeah. Yeah, it I want to get, get into some more clear stuff, like clear and glossy stuff, but I'm just so impatient. Yeah, so I, it all depends it all depends on what your what your end result is goal is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing around a lot with different, like, like a kid in the candy store buying different things for, you know, mica powders, glitters. Uh, somebody gave me a tip of Glitter Hippo. They had some really fine glitters that you can buy that would probably work with. This is from Glitter Hippo. A hippo. Okay. This is from Glitter Hippo. Okay, so good stuff then. I haven't used it yet because we haven't done a glitter run, but we are. we've been doing a lot of crystal clear. Like the one that we're launching with Beehive, um, whenever he gets him, uh, is a is basically it's 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 a honey, so it's made to look like a honey jar. You Dahlia. are not supposed to be giving away spoilers. I didn't, we've already given those spoilers away, and he's already talked about it. But we haven't shown the final product. He's going to show it off. You have to look at it there. We've shown. We've <laughs> talked about that. And I've shown the prototype. I, I've shown I the know. Prototype to all five viewers. Okay. I, I know you have. I know you have. <laughs> Multiple times, okay. <laughs> anyway, the, the point is, what I'm trying to say there is that that one had to have that aspect of crystal clear, and we did a couple pours because there's there's something embedded in it, uh, in the inside we wanted to clear to show through, and so we actually did uh, two pours. So we did one pour, put that piece in, and then poured, and then then cast over it. Yeah. To have it uh. To be suspended rather than shifting around. Yeah, and rather than trying to find a way to have it suspended while I poured and not oh, shift okay. anywhere. Having to suspend things like David Copperfield or something. Mm -hmm. That's a bad time. That's Yep. That's why we had to do it as a double pour because it like otherwise it was gonna be a lot of a lot of waste. So I did uh, a, a while ago I did some uh, Mr. Wiggles with some um, some spray can caps in them, some mm -hmm. graffiti caps, and they weren't all flowed up. And I'm like, no, get back down. And I'm like, you just have to hold it. You have to hold it there for two minutes in your resin, you know? Do what? But then, but then you're going to have something stuck in your resin holding the caps in. <laughs> yeah. They have like a skewer stuck in the bottom. <laughs> so I, I made these, uh, I made a couple for, um, the, uh, the Mad Hatterish uh, LGBTQ show yep. up in New York. I, in addition to what I made for 
that show, I made these things that have, so whenever I, uh, uh, I use eyedroppers, uh, disposable eyedroppers for like the eyes, for these eyes, mm-hmm. and tongue. And um, so whenever you suck it up, you uh, you have like a, basically like a little tube, uh, like in its glow, right? So I use those. And whenever I put those in, those would float up like almost like, um, is it a buoy? Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And would float up because they've got the little, the little squishy thing on the end that sucks mm-hmm. up the, the mm-hmm. whatever you're trying to drop. And they were just floating up. So I had to take like, what is it? Six of them for each color, tape them together, stick it down in the resin, and then put a cup on top of it. That way it wouldn't float up. Mm. It was a pain in the... I, it looked cool, but it was a pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's stuff like that. And then whenever... Like, I'm trying to figure this out before the resin cures. And so I can get it in the pressure pot. Well, yeah, right. Yeah. It's stressful. You're under, you're under the gun. Yeah. I wouldn't... Especially with a two-minute cure. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Forget yeah, about you gotta, it. Like, you got a... You got a... Uh, 25 Mississippis. <laughs> You're trying to count while you're like frantically trying to yeah. Make, mix the two 25 Mississippis and then you gotta you gotta go whether it's mixed together or not. So this is the piece you're talking about, right? That you're working on. Let me let me put it back in the this piece right here. And that was for that was for her show, but then if you go if you go to a, uh, go up this one right here, the one that's got oh yeah yeah yeah. The, Which one? So yeah. Okay, so on that the one, ones on the on the right with the glow in the inside. All right here. So oh, that, all right. That one, that one worked. That one worked. But the one below it, they started floating all over the place. So ah, you know, yeah. See how they're all like in all sorts of angles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That and one. then it, they were poking through the top. Mm-hmm. So a, a workaround is so, because I don't know how to describe it, but the resin didn't like cover the top all the way. So whenever I did do a little bit of sanding, I exposed. You'd get uh, to it. Right. Yeah. So basically what I did was for the next time around, I took the double cast Igby stuck them in the double cast part. Ah, yeah. Cast that and then put that, that Mm, double cast. That makes sense. That's a good way of doing that. Yeah. So they, they held the, the things in place and then that way it wouldn't poke through the outer. So now this piece here, this is all resin pores, right? Yeah, all separate resin pores, and then you achieve this look here by doing a clear cast over top of that. That's right. And then the and then the resin and so the color came from the other one and then shown through there. Yeah, but that's I like cool. The, the, that that one was the one that was uh, sold for the show, but right. I like the one with the dark, the darker. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, that's what that's I was neat. Going for. It came out too dark. If you scroll up the. Um, the one that came out. All right here. That, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's cool. A little muted. Yeah. Well, it makes the eyes look a lot different. Yeah, it, it makes the eyes look different, and then yeah. it it, it ex, ex, um, accentuates like the the details. The drips. It, yeah, the drips you can see more because it may, almost casts like a shadow on them because you get denser areas mm-hmm. in the ridges there. Yep. That's fascinating to me. I mean, it's like for me to try to achieve these types of things is, is a lot of work and a lot of sculpting you're doing. So do you do you do the 3D sculpting yourself as well? Yeah. So you're doing the 3D sculpting. Uh, that's something that we don't. Uh, so it's nice to have the whole turnaround on yeah. that. There's a, um, if you have an iPad Pro, there's a program that um, called Nomad 3D or Nomad yep. Sculpt 3D. Yeah. That's what Barely uses. And um I can't, I'm so used to ZBrush, it, it's hard for me. But when I go on vacation, I think I'm going to force myself to uh, get more familiar with it mm-hmm. and uh, and see if I can't uh, make something happen with it. Because I've seen people do really, really good stuff with it. And since I'm so used to one program, it's really hard for me to, you know. Well, it's like, it's like fight. well, I mean, that's, that's where you end up doing like YouTube and, okay, I do this technique in ZBrush. How do I do it here? And there's always a parallel. It's like when I went from, Photoshop to Procreate. Yeah. It's like, all right, I know how to do it in Photoshop or Illustrator. How do I do it in Procreate? Right. It's the same kind of idea, but I haven't even, we haven't even touched the 3D. We've had other people do the 3D molds, but it would be really nice to have the capability. At least maybe we could load up the Dahlia 3D. Uh, we have the 3D files, obviously, 
and do some modifications there yeah. so that we could, cause we have a 3d printer. Oh, yeah, we got to get a better 3d printer, but um, we'll get a 3d printer and that way we can start making some of this stuff. And, but then it's like, then you talk about having to get a uh, vacuum chamber for their first one to make a mold. We have, and, we have a vacuum chamber somewhere. Yeah. I, I'm good at buying things. That's true. <laughs> I, gotta, I know how to buy things. So it's, well, it's like, we had initially bought a vacuum chamber thinking pressure pot and then had to buy a pressure pot later. That was, like, that was like the years ago. Years ago. Yeah. That's true. I was so I was stressed out on which one I needed and why. Like, I, I didn't know because you watch people do stuff and it's like, oh, turns out you need them both, really. Yeah, we do have a vacuum chamber somewhere, but I don't know if it's big enough for what we would be doing now. That's Probably the problem. Probably not. It was a very small one. Yeah. It was, and because we actually had to go to a larger pressure pot, we were using a smaller version, um, and then I bought, I had to buy a larger one. Now we're running both of them uh, oh, because what kind of pressure pot do you have? I don't know the name brand of it, but it's like a blue. It was a the first one was a modified, basically paint pressure one. paint sprayer, right? And I just took the stirrer out and then put plumber's putty and clogged up the hole at the top, and then changed the gauge a little bit, and that's what I used, right? And it's worked great, and it's pretty big size. Um, I don't know the dimensions of it, but the other one's a larger one, but it looks like it's made by the same company, but they've adapted it for resin because I didn't have to modify. There was no paint stir in it anymore. There was only one valve for the pressure check and a release, so it wasn't made for paint to be modified. It was made for this purpose, but it was the same company. I think they caught on. Everybody was buying their... Uh, Paint by their their paint sprayers and not using them for paint spray. So it's not the Harbor Freight paint tank. No, I didn't use a Harbor Freight one. No, I looked at that. I got a lot of um. Use a oh there you go. Well, that's what you do barely. Uh, so barely. Uh, Jason says he doesn't use a vacuum chamber. I only use a pressure pot. But all my masters are solid. Yeah, that's what you'd have to do. You have to make a solid, yeah. solid master because we definitely damaged a uh, Dahlia original print that way. We probably could have. Thinking back on it, since there's a hole in the bottom of the neck, we probably could have just poured resin into it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to start with, and then you know, then you wouldn't have that problem. Right, and we have good molds, so what we were going to do instead of going about a pressure pot, we were just going to be all right. We'll just pour it all you had, clean it up, and then we'll use that as the mold. We'll make the mold off of it because we weren't trying something new, right? Oh, now if we'd have to do something different. Like what uh, Jason's talking about, if we were to not not do the vacuum chamber, we would just have to. Well, you know, the easy thing is we would just send the three D print to Bean. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just get them all, and we're done, and we're we're set for a while. Do you do you have any um, plans to do any more of your bombs that you do? Yeah, I need to get back on the bombs. Um, I've made a couple that where people have just requested for the bomb. They've requested. Robbie, did you know that was an option? <laughs> I did not know that was enough. Robbie's <laughs> like, I do now. <laughs> if you want a bond, just uh, just send me a message and we'll work something out. Okay, go. cool. I like that one quite a bit. <laughs> you, should get, you should get a glitter bomb. A glitter oh, bomb. look at that. It's like a metal. Like a, yeah. yeah. Like a... Oh, there is uh, <laughs> possibly. I don't have it. I don't. Oh, that would be really good if I had access to that right now. But there is, that'd be a good little little sneak. Ooh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, there's a bomb coming up. There is a bomb actually coming up. It's a collaboration bomb. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, I saw you. I saw you in here posting asking for collabs or ideas for collabs. Yeah. So I do have two collaborations coming up. I'm really yeah. excited about them. Uh, he said you have two new collaborations. So uh, who's the? Uh, is said any guesses? Reset him. He named himself, and that would be a good authority. I don't know what I can say. <laughs> yeah. he, he, I'm just saying Reese did. I'm looking at the post, and Reese said, Reese commented, Reese O'Brien? Question mark. Wait, so, he said himself? I thought somebody else said that. No, he said himself. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah, cool. I like him. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. <laughs> He looks like James Hetfield. Yeah, and he takes that. That's a big compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be an awesome one to collaborate with. Was oh, that one of the collaborations? Is that way we're doing? Uh, no. But the no, person okay. that I, one of them, well, both of them, you will like very much. I can, I'm I can looking for. I'm sure I will. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. 
Yeah, that's and right. Then, that. then there's uh, something that just came up. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the donut that I made. Mm -hmm. That is part of a, uh, a donut uh, collaboration type thing with uh, uh, Mr. Memento. Mento. Yep, Mr. Mento. Yeah. Um, so that is actually an old character. Like one of the first characters that I ever modeled an, an idea. Like I, I came up with this donut. And then to make it what I wanted it to be, it was going to be around 18 pieces hmm. because I was going to try to make the donut a separate piece and then the frosting a separate piece and then all of the, the pills a separate piece. Oh, yeah. I remember you talking about this. It all yeah. glow, right. And then the eyes. So but then it just seemed like too much work. So yeah. he hit me up with this donut thing and I was like, well, I already have a donut and I just reworked it to you know, how things look now, because the it, it looks like that, but the style is different a little. Right, gotcha. So I just reworked it. So that's going to be coming out soon. That just happened this week, actually. Oh, um, cool. Damien, click to the other pictures on there. There's a couple more. Oh, okay, there you go. You get to see the 3D. Yeah, yeah some variants. We can really like. see the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so those are the people that are participating in it so far. Oh, no, oh, nice. Okay, so you're one of the... Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Neat. So, yeah, some interesting things are happening. And uh, I cannot wait to show this, show this collaboration. I can't well, wait to show it. One of them is 10 pieces. Wow. It's a 10-piece toy. 10-piece toy. Wow. I, after the cream sickle, I said never again. Turns out, don't ever say that. Don't ever say that. <laughs> the Creepsicle is a cool piece. I like that one a lot. Thank you. And I, I said, I, I, a toy. Because my whole thing was with the Creepsicle. I was like, I'm going to make, since I'm not really confident in my painting abilities, I'm like, I'm going to make everything separate pieces. That way I can mm -hmm. cast them in separate colors. It'll glow. And it'll be cool. And it was a lot of work. And um, then I was just like, I'm never going to do this again. Well, <laughs> The right person came a knocking and uh, ten pieces. There you go. Be that's why. But that's one of the things I like about your piece. I mean, it's not. Well, actually, a lot of you know, obviously, a lot of the artists we have on here. There's always something that makes their stuff special and a little bit different and brings something to the table. That's why I'm really looking forward to the resin nation box. That's something that you know, we'll have to put our calendars to and remind people to go buy that. I hope I can get lucky. Fourteen. That's gonna be tough um, to yeah, get. I'm sure. Real fast, the first one. Yeah, I imagine so. I'll try for it. That's for sure. Cause I'd love to have those pieces. You know, we gotta get big enough of a show to be like, "Hey, Resonation, why don't you give it to us? So we can show off all the pieces." You know, <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll hype yes. it up. We'll, we'll hype it up for a few weeks beforehand. You know, or something like that. Like, <laughs> I gotta figure this out. Uh, you know. Anyway, um, the that's gonna be really cool. But what I liked about your pieces was specifically that you did everything in resin and all the different pieces fit together because it's tough. Paint could look good. Painters are fantastic. I love good paint. Yeah, because good paint is hard to do. I've held a lot of hand painted pieces, mm. and you could tell the good ones and the great ones from you know just wanting to paint. Yeah. But the same thing with resin. It is absolutely the same. I have a lot of pieces I spend money on that I just, immediately when I see it, I can see all the flaws in it. And I know how they got there, and I know what they did. They didn't sand it. This seems too big. These pieces are there, how they fit together, all that stuff. I'm sure you'd be the same way in any resin piece you pick up. How could you help yourself by not doing that? Yeah, I am I am very um, um, friend of the show. Um, uh, Arctic Fox bought one of my pieces a couple of weeks ago, and I was just like, she don't think this is a piece of trash. <laughs> 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 you gonna throw this? You gonna open this and throw it in the trash can immediately? <laughs> no, she's not. No, she's nicer than that. She would just sand it down and make a mold for you and send you a resin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she'll make it for you. Yeah. She'll be like, I think you meant this. <laughs> I think this is what you are going for. <laughs> I'll sell you this. Yeah. I'll sell you your own back. Well, you could try to buy this, but it will be gone. Yeah, before you have a chance for that. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, I, I, every time I, if, if another artist buys my work, I'm just like, 
it's it's really it, it makes me nervous. Yeah, I, I can see totally, that. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I totally understand that. It's like, uh, but but anyway, owning a few pieces of your your resin. I mean, when I when I hold them, even the larger pieces or whatever. I mean, you can't. You're not going to hide any of that because you're not painting. You're not yeah. covering with anything. You're not sculpting on top of it. There's nothing there. And so it's very exposed. Like, if there's a problem, you're going to see it. And they're clean. They're super. Really great job. I mean, and so answer the question on, like, who I would, you know, Jason obviously has been a mentor in the space for me. You, looking at work you're done, very impressed with what you're doing. Like, that's the kind of quality you want to get to. And it's hard. It's hard to get there. I'm not there. Yeah. Having done having done resin both ways with the clear stuff and or the unpainted unfinished or whatever as well as having painted resin it, it it's night and day because y you can have a really shitty pour and fix it if you're going to paint yeah. it like there's yep, a yeah. lot of things you can do to fill bubbles sand it out like and you can fix it and cover it with paint and it's easy i mean it's not easy but it's it's you well, because you're, you but you're, but you're a painter. That's what you do. I mean, you're, you can get away with it. There, there is no hiding when you're not doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's when the last time I was on here, I had the re-release coming up of the the ovos, and mm -hmm. a lot of those, a lot of those pieces were when I first started out, and I was just mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to, you know, make things look the way that I wanted, and you know, they look as good, like. I try to take a bit of advice from everybody that I meet, no matter how big, how, how bad it may seem, you know, like I, for what I'm talking about is I went to an interview with this guy and it was pretty bad. Right. And I didn't get the job. And he was basically like, the one thing I took away from him is you don't want to aim for perfection. You want to aim for professional and because perfection will drive you crazy professional that, that's what i try to uh, strive for and if, if i were to have bought it would i be okay with it so and hopefully yeah that's why that's what you do that's exactly right that's what we're doing i mean that's why we yeah, have a lot I, of things i never really thought of it that way but i totally agree with that because as again as the person that's physically doing the sanding and physically doing the finishing and okay. and whatever that you will see a lot of things that people may not see or may overlook and it will drive you crazy if you let it yeah. Yep. It does. Absolutely. Well, look, uh, it's been, it's, we're over an hour now. I want to be sensitive of time and, and get everybody out of here. But again, I do want to talk about the upcoming show. So everybody, um, remember next week. So next Sunday at 8 PM Eastern time, Smy world, we have an LE 10, right? Uh, there's always going, no, I was at the limit. Is it 10? Is it 10 pieces? 10, Ten pieces. Of the black, uh, what's the name of the item? I don't want to just call it the black glitter one. What's what's the name of the piece? Galactic Peep Show. There you go, Galactic Peep <laughs> Show. That's hilarious. I, like I love it. it. I love it. So be sure to be on that site on time. Um, get that. That'll be next week uh, at SmiteCon. And then you have Resonation coming up on September 4th. Yep. So be ready for that, everybody. That's where you're going to find him. And then uh, I'm going to link his Instagram here for you. So everybody here, make sure you go to his Instagram. Give him a follow and a like. And check his stuff out. Already. You should already. You should be already. But uh, <laughs> just, so I, I did want to ask you. We've been asking everybody on the show not to put you on the spot, and you absolutely uh, cannot have time or anything like that. But we are working on a collaboration project for all the artists we've had on the show up from May through Decon is our target. Um, we'd like to do a. That's not when they have to be done. Just we're gonna have the artists on the show through that point. We don't know the timing of it, but we would like to have we'd like to invite you to work on a dahlia of some type somehow. But with you, maybe we could work something out where because of what your your particular talents are, we can get a mold to you. So you can try to okay. do something more in your wheelhouse, you know what I mean? Rather than trying to paint something or taking a white cast or something like that. We we work something out because we have we have a few of them now. Yeah, send me a message. Maybe we can make something totally different. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do that. So we'll work on that. I'll have Christina message you because that's the uh, that's the art direction here. So, <laughs> but we're looking forward. That's awesome. actually my sneaky way of like we'll get multiples and then I'll just keep them all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We we actually don't know. You know, I've worked with Jason on a try because Jason did the art show last year, so that's really where I got the idea 
to do a collaboration when he did the barely one. Christina did one for him. Jessica Emmett um, did Is one that for him. Missing that one. Yeah, we didn't get to buy that one. But uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, that was the idea. That's another person. That's another person. Jessica Emmett. Are you kidding me? How could I? Oh, I know. She's, she's amazing. amazing. Well, she's gonna be on the show too, by the way. So she's gonna oh, be on really? the show. Yeah, a couple in a couple of weeks, I think. Yep. Yeah, so a couple weeks the time for her time frame. Well, that works out uh, well no. for her actually. It's gonna be basically when we're going live. It'll be Sunday morning, where oh, she is. Because yeah. I think it's about twelve or thirteen hours different. So it just it. Yeah. It just sort of works out. For, fortunately for us. Yeah. So actually, yeah, just let everybody know that's watching right now. The on the schedule, um, next week, same time, we have Fifth Turtle on. So he'll be joining us. Uh, and then Jessica Emmett's on the 28th. Uh, and then on the 14th, we have DeBose Art. And then the 21st, we have Ghost Hunter Toys coming on. So we have quite a good lineup right now going. And again, we've had people booked all the way through. The goal is we'll have a new artist on through Decon. Whatever happens, if I can actually buy tickets, I don't know. But we'll see. So thanks for joining us again. It's been a lot of fun. We'll, we'll definitely reach out to you and see what we can do there. Uh, we haven't nailed the we haven't nailed the timing down on the show um, or how we want to do it or we're kind of but I think it would be a lot of fun. We've had a lot of amazing artists on the show and we'd love to work with everybody. Definitely, definitely. Well, thanks a lot. All right, now, everybody. There, I don't, let's find somebody to raid here. STS guys are not going live today, so we usually raid them. Let me go to here. Damien looks for somebody to raid. Uh, the sack will return next week. Sorry, I've missed it the last two weeks, but I totally forgot about this trip until I got home from Hollywood. <laughs> so I thought I'd be going live tonight. Are you going to make a toy for the sack? A three, like uh, a three. Well, they, uh, have a, they, are make, they are making it. Yeah. So our friends at Vance for Toys, they're making a... Uh, did they do the model for it? They did the model yeah. for it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. They've, they've already been working on, on a couple... Because I they, remember they when tried I was to scrolling, get... I was scrolling through, and I was like, "That looks like a nut sack." And I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oddly enough, yeah. that was like a big old, a big old bean bag right there. <laughs> That's pretty much yep. where it's going. Yeah. Yep. It was designed for for us for the sack. Yeah, it looks like one. <laughs> <laughs> right. They tried right, to get me to model it, but I thought I couldn't do that. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and raid our friend Andrew J. Noe. He's uh, streaming some video games, uh, some sort. Not sure. He's on. Send some people that way. Give them the old geek together raid, and we will see you all next week with Fifth Turtle. You're not gonna want to miss it. Uh, it's, it's really great work, um, and we can talk more resignation. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> all right. Thanks.